Thanks, Rod. Thank you. Thank you. If your life is all about money, status, and young pussy, you're an empty, pathetic person. I'm on the page now, it's not live forms, yet. KKK reforms, confirm oh your firm of these red alarms, barren wasteland, now reputation is home, agree with my end soul, I win, come yeah, on, you can't talk shit about me, I am a life? disaster, yeah, it it seems so a hundred and seventy eight people, yeah, I smoke I mean, metal, wax pack like, and I smack her, I got myself a steam being my own detractor, <laughs> making money in America is beta bro, banging 18 to 25 is not pedo though, you got a broke Dick and ain't got a broke brain. Coming from a broke dick dummy, no, 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 no pain. Used to be the killing block, now the alien stop. No one gives a shit about if what they post is real or not. Mad at the internet, sock puppets, doxing. More like bad at the this internet. Capsize and flopping. Running down, down the bonds yeah, and the carrying well, floss. They can actually hear it walking right now. Fantastic. So yeah, that's brilliant. Can, 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 can we just talk over it? Running down the bonds and the carrying floss. I, I, I don't even know what this one is. Look, okay, we'll play the fucking rap like we said we were gonna do an intro song, and then we'll get into the fucking show. Yeah, but I mean, they can hear everything you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, they can hear everything you're saying. Disposable broke hoes joke and he knows the shit. He probably won't know the words till he scrolls down. I think I should slow down and let the clown figure it out. Throwing stones in a glass house. How you gonna cow from your own thread? Please don't bully bullshit. When your website spreads lies, unverified accounts of cows and doxed houses. You're pathetic. Your life is weak. You should end it. Your sight peaked in 2017. Now that's a distant dream. Good luck spreading your genes when you can't cream. You're gonna have to mail order a bride from the villa. You can suck my clit though, bitch. I'll six hard inches. You won't get up because you're a fag though, limp dick. You believe so it, this Riley it guy is over and beg for mommy. I know you're living in her basement, Josh. Is he the one I'm on in the last? Yeah. He's the producer of Brian Dick. Alright, I can't play anymore. Well, this I think is he was cancer. groomed into the role. <clears throat> I'll say this on air, but I think he was groomed into the role. Yeah. Like who is this that's coming on now? Like with the with the, the get, wig or something? You guys on? are live right now. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you know, not sorted it out, Ryan. We've, we've got to like play the way. rap first, Ryan. It's over. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go then. <laughs> Enjoy your stream. So this is the show. We're gonna do myself and PPP a full reaction to whatever the fuck that was with Daddy Dick and Diddler Dax and and generous Josh there. Uh, PPP, just initial thoughts before we get into the spicy hot takes that we've concocted. What do you think about that optically for Dax? I think it's a fucking nightmare. I, I think that there are very few things, in fact, uh, short of fucking dead bodies, there are very few things that are more fucked up or that people would find optically as fucked up as defending molesting children and defending, you know, pedophiles being able to get off the images of children. Um, I mean, when you consider that Dax's audience is supposedly a conservative audience, you know, and he's making $20,000 a month on Patreon, um, this is a very stupid fucking move. Um, because, I mean, like defending pedophilia and like enabling pedophilia is against Patreon's terms of service for one. And for well, two, I hope, he, I hope he ends up homeless, destitute, and begging for trash burgers. You know, I don't want this guy to draw any income from. People uh, of a what a fan base, a viewer base that have been duped into watching him because they think he's based and red pilled. When the moment they are pig pigging him and they watch a few hours of his content, they realize that he's selling them pedophilias are great. You know, pedophiles are amazing. All of this nonsense that he's trying to peddle to them. Disavow. Get rid of your pay pig subscription to this man. This man is cancer. This Mexican Jew needs to be dropped as soon as possible. Absolutely. I mean, if you are still, if you are listening to the sound of my voice and you are still giving Dick Masterson your money, you need to reevaluate everything about your life or just drop the fucking subscription. I mean, seriously, how are you going to pay a man who defends molesting children, defends pedophiles jerking off to children, who gives platforms to Digibro, a confirmed pedophile, who gives a platform to Catboy Cammy, who... I'm just going to say it, is also a pedophile. We've seen him. Well, let's just jump into that. So the reason why Josh goes on Dick's show is to call him out 
for being very, very friendly with this Digibro Pedo. Like, I didn't realize how friendly he was. And then I saw that, what, hour, two hour long staunch defense of Digibro coming from Dick Masterson's own mouth. And I thought, this is so fucked. This is so fucked. The guy is literally defending pedophilia in Lolicon and stuff like that because Digibro and him have some very weird clandestine connection. What is the connection, PPP? Why is D Diddler Dax defending him so hard, so staunchly on this matter? It makes me ill. It makes me I sick. Don't know. Is it a child trafficking ring? And that's where this $20,000 a month is coming from? Because I'm going to tell you this right now. There is like less than 100 people who listen to the Dax Herrera show, the Dick Masterson show, every week live. Like, where are these people that are paying $20 a month to listen to this? Well, like, he's already been struck off MasterCard PPP for money laundering, so I wouldn't be surprised if there is a cartel and the fucking triads funneling money through Dick Masterson. Uh, maybe they're trying to subvert the, the white race by having Dick Masterson peddle these views on saying that pedophilia is acceptable. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. But personally, I think that... I don't Shall I get into hot take time, PPP? Or it's hot do... take time! So here's what I think, lads, and neat samurai in the chat. I think that Dick Masterson feels confident enough. He, th he says he's Jesus. He can walk on water. I think he feels confident enough now that he feels he can cushion the blow. He can cushion the blow by saying the most outrageous thing possible, by literally defending pedophilia. But what about the poor downtrodden pedophile? That's what he's saying on that stream. So yeah. this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Ralph fucked up so in, in such a big way earlier this week. Like I've seen no one fuck up that much and set themselves on fire that much and, and still not, you know, be a pile of ash. So I think he's done that. And I think that Daddy Dex, uh, Daddy Dick Masterson, Diddler Dax, has come down from on high and he thinks he can caution the blow. So he's saying the most outrageous things to try and bury in memory hole the Ralph shit. And he thinks he's strong enough, he's in a strong enough position to cushion the blow and bury the Ethan Ralph shit by saying from his own mouth that Lolly Khan and Peter Files are great. Like this guy, this guy, PPP, yeah. would you agree with that? Or am no, I just taking the what crazy he's trying part? to do, he's trying to take the heat off Ralph and put it on himself. Why? I don't know. Why he feels the need to defend all these people is beyond me. I guess they all have blackmail on each other. They're all involved in looking at pictures of children that are underage or they're all involved in some weird money laundering scheme. There's something going on here where they all have blackmail on each other and it's like a criminal organization. And Dax, who thinks he's the Don, feels like he has to cover up for one of his lower level capos. So he's detracting the attention away from, you know, the ex-boyfriend's messages and the sex tape and all the bullshit that Ralph's doing. He's deflecting it onto himself but he's doing it in a way that is the worst possible idea ever. Which the guy is thinks he's Jesus Christ. The guy thinks he's got this God complex, I assume. He thinks he's a divine creature that can weather all storms. So that's why he's doing it, PPP. This guy thinks he's untouchable. He's this, man is, this man is a filthy Mexican Jew who has never actually ever been funny. Has uh, never ever made me laugh. He just fucking starts screaming like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like he just yells, like, and he thinks it's funny to scream and yell. I mean, the, the guy has zero fucking talent. He's in his like 40s now, you know, talking about how he's making all this money and crushing all this puss. I mean, this guy's a joke, you know. He's been blacklisted. He's put on the match list from MasterCard. I mean, for money laundering and fraud. And he's going to get up on his soapbox now and defend pedophiles and say it's okay to jerk off to pictures of children and he's going to say pedophiles are the real victims and he thinks he can get away with this. He thinks that he's above everybody else, that he's Jesus Christ, that he's a king, he's a God, and he can say pedophiles are the real victim. Who cares about their children? And I just, I just don't see a way back. Like we keep saying like, how are they going to top themselves this, this day? How are they going to beat what they said like, or what they did yesterday? How are they going to do it today? They consistently one-up themselves every single day. And I think they're doing it because they realize that it's all being memory hold. One of them fucks up in a big way, then the other one tries to fuck up in a bigger way to bury it. You know, all this is missing now is if Dax wants his drama to be buried, just for Waterky to just shoot himself in the head. Then that'll bury Dax being a pedo. 
But this is reprehensible. This is fucking... Re- when Josh says that Digibro should be nailed to a tree, Dax is, Dax is going, no, no, you can't say that, Josh. Like, no. That's hate speech, Josh. Oh, <laughs> you can't say this, Josh, no. And then he goes on a fucking soliloquy about how pedos are great. Like, this guy needs a bullet in the head. I'm going to be I'm gonna be clear here. Dax has been going out today buying guns, buying handguns, buying rifles, buying a fucking small assembly of weapons for a small little army he's getting on the on the Compton crack shack there. What does this guy think's gonna happen? He realizes his views are fucked, but he thinks because he's got a gun now he can say what he likes. He says you know he can defend the pedos. He can embrace these pedos that it the poor downtrodden pedos that he's defending. This guy needs to be hung by the neck until dead. By somebody, I don't care. You know, I'm not condoning the guy's death, but I think it I think what he's saying here is reprehensible and deplorable. Also, no. PPP, Josh, Josh, generous Josh, really fucking pulls it out of the bag and says, you know, uh, I'm not going to continue being friends with you. You're going to be friends with Digibro. So I disavow. He says that in an unclear terms, yeah. you know, very <laughs> base Josh, generous Josh. And then the guy, when he's talking to Catboy Cammy, who's the next guest, Catboy Cammy, pedophile, literal pedophile. Uh, boyfriend of Nick Fuentes, all of this crazy shit that Catboy Cammy's done. The guy says, Diddler Dax to Catboy Cammy, oh, I've just been disavowed by the worst person on the internet. Get a grip, buddy. You've surrounded yourself with the worst people on the internet. And Josh, generous Josh, is like Mother Teresa compared to the fucking degenerates and pedos you've surrounded yourself with. Yeah. Oh, and what it is is also, right? I mean, remember Howard Stern had the whack talk with like, you know, the Ku Klux Klan members and all these crazy fuckers, 600 pound woman, woman with beard, all this shit like this. I think Dax might think that, oh, well, Digibro is like my version of the Klan guy on the Howard Stern show. This is my whack pack of fucking clowns to laugh at with Catboy Cammy and all this shit. But I mean, Howard Stern, I don't think ever really brought on pedophiles. And if he did, it was only ever to shit on them. He never would defend pedophilia and say, yeah, it's good to jerk off the pictures of children. It's just fucked. It just doesn't make any sense. And Josh is saying... It's not not just like him defending it. It's the length and and the veracity and passion with which he defended Digibro and pedophiles in general. Like, Dick Masterson really put up a fucking staunch defense there. I can't believe anyone that's not in prison or doesn't do that themselves. You know, really mounting that sort of defense. It was sickening to hear and watch. Absolutely sickening. Even Sean the Sheep, yeah. Gator, in about 10 years' time, even he, he's like, what the fuck? You can look at his reactions there, and he's like, what the fuck am I doing? Why have I attached myself to this worthless loser? So, Sean, and I'm not Sean, even going to pick up my broom to clean this up, because this is yeah. just fucking reprehensible shit. So Sean is of like a 40-year-old man. He's a normal man. He goes about his life. He doesn't spend all his day on the internet. And he was forced to confront on this show his boss defending pedophiles and defending Wally Kong. Then he was confronted with Catboy Cammy in a fucking maid outfit pouring milk on himself. And after Catboy Cammy left the show, he just said to Dick, he goes like, did Riley set this one up? Like, how could you do this? Like, he just, he looks at him. He's like, how did we find this guy? And why is he on the show? And Dick goes, I and personally it, brought look, him it- on. PPP, I said this to you before, but it comes to something when Josh has to fucking call out the pedophile. You know, it comes yeah. to something when Josh has the moral high ground in this. You know, and he does have the moral high ground here. And I, he did a really good thing today where he disavowed Dax for, for having these like weird fucking friends. I mean, Digibro is just the tip of the iceberg. We've all seen that photo of them all gathered at uh, Ralph's house there, all of the Dick Matheson capos. All of these guys are fucking scum, just total garbage dirtbags. And all of them have a checkered, littered history on the internet. They've all got a thing against Kiwi Farms because Kiwi Farms has been the place that's brought their degenerate actions to the light. And so they're all trying to bandy and rally against Josh. And Dick Masterson has decided for some bizarre reason to take and bear the cross of the pedophiles. You know, that's the hill where he's going to die on. This guy needs some help. Like he's dropping out LSD every night. Clearly his brain is fried. He's comparing himself to Jesus casually. He's only doing this, in my opinion, because he thinks he can cushion Ralph's blow and memory hole all of the Ralph shit. And you know what? It will work. Like, if he, if he keeps saying this oh. crazy shit, it'll work. Like, Ralph's stuff will be memory hole. Yeah, no, Absolutely. You know, at the expense of your $20,000 a month and your name and, you know, Sean's livelihood as Sean becomes homeless and lives in the gutter. But, you know, I have no sympathy for Sean. 
Because when Dick asked, Sean, would you rather have child porn or lollycon on your computer? Instead of saying, I would never have either, you know, which is the only legitimate answer, well, Sean, yeah. Sean said, I would have lollycon. And this is that. So he keeps bringing up that little gambit, that little choice there throughout the entire conversation with Josh. He says, oh, well, you know, if you had to make the choice. And Josh just basically says, like any normal person would say, like, you don't have to make the choice. Like, you don't have to put that choice ever in your life. It should never, like, if ever you reach the point in life where you're considering, oh, oh, I've got to have Lollicon because I'll uh, engage in my uh, CP fantasies. End yourself. Sunset yourself. You should never have to be making that choice. Yeah, that's the choice he keeps bringing up. So, I mean, I'm only considering, like, just based on what he's saying, has Dick Masterson got, like, a big fucking hard drive full of lollycon because he's too afraid? He, he thinks he's going to slip into CP masturbatory fantasies? Like, what is what is wrong with this man? I know he's a Mexican Jew. I know he lives in the Barbie Dream Mansion. I know his girlfriend used to be a cam whore. I know he's got Sean the Sheep, but good grief, for fuck's sake, what is wrong with this man? I, I just don't know. Like, when I first started showing these tweets he was making to Surfer, Surfer goes, well, he's just joking. He's just trolling you. And I go, I don't think he is. And then it kept going for days and days. And finally, Surfer was like, well, yeah, maybe there's something to this. Then finally today, we see him in the flash, his voice, his personage, defending pedophilia and lollycon. And it's confirmed. It's not just like some troll. I mean, that he's genuinely trying to fucking assert these viewpoints that it's acceptable. And eventually, like his only way out is to try and say, well, I was just pretending to exploit children. I was just pretending. I, I, just, to I just think with the passion and veracity with which he defended Digibro and then pedophiles in general, there's no walking back from that. It's on HD, like video streaming. You know, you can see the passion, the redness in his face as he, as he lights up against Josh. This guy, this guy is just totally fucked in the head. He's managed to convince himself that, oh, because Digibro role plays as the little child, then it's okay. It's not pedophilia. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I've slipped into the Twilight Zone now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm fucking walking on yesterday's Enterprise. I've quantum leaped into this universe where fucking Dick Masterson, leader of the white race, the Mexican Jew, the, the Hollywood celebrity, right, is is batting for Digibro, who is an irrelevant nobody pedophile, who for years, years upon years, has been the butt of everyone's jokes, has been a complete horror cow, just in general on the internet. Now now Dick Masterson has allied himself with him? Like, what the fuck? What is this timeline? I mean, ask yourself this. So you have a choice in allies between a pedophile, transsexual, who admittedly jerks off to pictures of children, and Josh, and even, by the way, the just let me jump part. in there, PPP. Like, he admits that on Dick Masterson's stream. So Dick Masterson can't claim, like, he didn't have any knowledge. Like, he admits that to Dick Masterson on stream during, like, a fucking clandestine, darkly lit, everyone's voice is low and gravelly, and they're all like, whoa, I can't believe that Digibro is saying he whacks off to children. All of this is fucking crazy. He, so he's done that, right? You've seen that, yeah. haven't you, PPP? Yeah. Yeah, and then he goes at this so hard now, months later, when people are calling him out on the shit. This is so fucked. It's just so fucked to me. Oh, and then his justification is like, it's okay to joke about pedophilia because in Hollywood it's acceptable because the culture here is that everyone gets molested. And like, he says that like, pedophiles run the world. Like, this is his like, crazy fucking thing. So it's like, well, why do you live in LA where this is like the normal culture? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, it, does it not strike you as like some some weird shit to say stuff like that? And to... Well, don't forget PPP. Like, he's tweeting out that he's a sophisticated person because he thinks that child pornography is okay. They're, like, they're his words verbatim, you know? Like, apparently thinking child pornography is okay makes you a sophisticated person in Dick Masterson's mind, you know? Now, I don't know, right, if this is all some fucking weirdly insidious grift where they're trying to pollute the minds of the viewer base and they're trying to make certain ideas acceptable, because that sounds like a pretty rand take to me, and we'll get into rand yeah. later on. Um, but I, uh, or whether it is, in fact, Dick just saying the most outrageous, outlandish things to try and bury the rough shit. But either way, right, if we take the two options, we take that option I've just said, if he sets himself on fire to save Ralph, he's still going to be set on fire. And there's still going to have to be someone that comes in, a bigger name, maybe fucking Keemstar, or, or, or someone else, to try and set themselves on fire to stop Dick Masterson, you know, fully burning to a crisp. 
if we take the option where he's actually polluting the fucking minds of his viewer base, like, holy fuck, unsubscribe. Like, stop giving this man money. This man only spends your money on mailing alcohol to Ethan Ralph, dropping LSD tabs every night, and just being a hardcore DJ. This man holds none of your values. He's not even funny. It'd be all right, right? Like, you could forgive a lot of the guy's flaws if he was funny, but his idea of being funny is... Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to the Simpson! It's shit. It's shit. His advice, God forbid you ever take it on women and life. It's shit. You take his advice, you'll end up in a crack shack, crack shack in Compton. You know, defending Ethan Ralph and calling your best friend Digibro every night. Fuck this timeline. Fuck these people. Fuck this weird child trafficking ring that's allegedly going on. Like, PPP, fuck. I, I, I just don't even know what to say at this point. It just starts to get to, like, I, I just don't understand how anybody could think that this is acceptable to say. I, I don't get it. Even if you're the most hardcore libertarian and you just believe in the First Amendment, to the ends of the fucking earth. I mean, at a certain point, you have to draw the line. And most people draw the line with children and animals, but not Dax Herrera. He's going to say that the founding fathers, when they drafted the Constitution, intended to protect the minority of pedophiles from the tyranny of the majority who would stop them from jerking off to children. That's what he believes. That's his claim, right? And, and it's just, it, it's fucking mind blowing that there are people who believe like this. You know, you have, like, Stefan Molyneux types. Not even he's that extreme, I don't think. Like, holy fuck. No, but the reality is, is, like, he doesn't believe in any... Dick Masterson believes in nothing except money. Except money. Like, he doesn't hold yeah. these views, really. Like, the guy doesn't hold any sort of moral virtue. If you were to tally him against a real libertarian, you would find that Dick Masterson isn't that. Because what we see, right, the guy who defends free speech and stuff like that, Catboy Cammy, the pedophile, he comes on, he starts dropping N-bombs and F-slurs, and Dick Masterson is constantly saying, oh, you can't say that, man. You can't say that, yeah. man. The man who's just spent an hour and a half Defending pedophilia is telling this guy what to say and what not to say. Oh, but then like, don't what? forget what is going don't on. Don't forget, don't forget him threatening to sue Josh for saying Digi Bro. So is a this pedophile. was it, right? So he ends the stream by making this veiled threat to Josh by saying to Josh, "Oh, you can't keep calling Digi Bro a pedophile because you know someone might, uh, someone might, uh, you know, mount uh, mount a lawsuit on you there, Josh. Uh, someone might do that there, uh, there, Josh." Like, come on, man. You're a fucking cow. You're a fucking fraud hack. I mean, I'd love to see you mount a lawsuit against Karen Farms. I know that's what they're all, the League of Fucking Autists are planning. Um, I mean, he called us the cancer clique. Can you remember this? Ethan Ralph calling, calling us the cancer clique. Well, look, they are the pantheon of pedophiles. You know, him and the pantheon of pedophiles are going to mount a lawsuit against Karen Farms and Generous Josh because, <laughs> you know, they said some mean things about them. Oh, and they've been compiling all their degenerate actions and holding them to account. Oh, yeah. shit. Let's let's do the lol suit. Let's be fully become Maddox. Like, yeah. fuck these guys. He made his whole name off that internet lawsuits are fucking retarded. That's his whole gimmick. And now he's going to become Maddox fully because he can't handle people making fun of him. Why? They can't just take the L on the Ethan Ralph sex tape like a normal fucking person would. I mean, holy shit. Why? They have to keep trying to fight back. And you can't you can't win this fight. You're never gonna Well, you've gotta realize. I mean, Ralph did this as well the other night. He compared himself to Jesus casually. You know, he said that his capacity for forgiveness was the equivalent of Jesus's. Masterson calls himself Jesus for being the fucking uh, redeemer of pedophiles earlier today. Like these guys genuinely do have this messiah complex. They genuinely do think that they can walk on water. They can divide loaves of bread to feed the 5,000. They can cure leprosy and blindness and resurrect Lazarus. These what these guys genuinely think. Like these guys are so fucked in the head and so addled by drugs, booze, and whatever else they're shoving into their mouths, mother's medication, Taco Bell, you know, all, Maker's Mark, all of this garbage that they're feeding themselves with, all of it leads one way into them thinking that they're Jesus Christ, into them harassing and uh, recording ch children and fucking uh, fresh out of high school, fucked in the head, female Randy Stairs. These guys are awful. Just deplorable. A fucking cabal of cancer. Yeah. What on earth are we doing?
I thought that Ralph doing that the other day was about the tip of the iceberg. Can you remember I said to you, man, I said, like, where do we go from here, PPP? Like, like yeah. can you remember I said, like, what, what, what's the next fucking... Bo- like, is there a final boss? Like, where do we go from here? Do we just ride off into the sunset? You know, we've had a little victory against Ralph. I mean, he's, he's essentially set off the nuclear bomb. I'm just going to, I pre-ordered Witcher 3 then and there, and I thought, okay, I'm going to sink hours of my life into that. And now we're at a point in time where Master Sun is just becoming the pedophile redeemer. The guy is openly mounting defenses for pedophiles. What about the poor downtrodden pedophile? Uh, he's oh. even telling Josh to ignore his own forum. Be like, uh, ignore the people that are detracting you. The guy who blocks everyone on Twitter and, you know, screeches about Karen Farms. Like, he. Now we're here, right? We're, we're going after Dax. Like, he's presented himself as yeah. the target. Oh, he's saying, I'm going to take all that fire. You guys don't shoot at Ralph, shoot at me, because I love pedophilia. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. So congratulations, Dax. Like, okay, you want to fight this fight? Like, this guy is challenging me to debate him on this. And, like, he's trying yeah, to set that. up. Let's get into that. So you, you, you call him out for this a few days ago. Why are you defending pedophiles? Why are you saying that uh, child pornography is sophisticated and you're a sophisticated gentleman for liking child pornography? Why are you saying all of this, Dax? And then you say, I'll, uh, I'll b- battle you in the Kinodrome, right? Yeah, you yeah. and Ditchbroke can fight me. I'll give you that handicap. Two versus one, I don't care. And then this guy spins it. He Mexican chews you the fuck out. And he says, oh, you can come on my show and I'll have about 10 people that all hate your guts. I'm going to turn down your microphone to as low as it possibly can. I'll probably kick you from the call and they can all dab on you. And I'll also make a lot of money. Like, fuck this. Exactly. Like, I'm not going to agree to go on to be gangbanged. Um, I'm not a retard there, Dax. And we're not, we're just not going to enable you to make money off me. Like, that's just not going to happen. So you can get fucked. The reality is if he wants to come on my show and he can put it on his feed or whatever, I don't care. But he can come on my show and he can have two of his guys, you know, him and Digibro. Fuck, I'll even give him a third person if he wants. And they can try and explain to me why pedophilia is righteous and why Lollicon is based. And I'm just going to calmly explain, like, are you guys fucking serious? You know, like, this is evil and degenerate. And, like, what if Digibro actually molests a child? And that's where it ultimately comes down to, right, is because of Dax enabling this fucking behavior, what happens it, when, when Digibro molests a child? And how is he going to feel about it? I think he'll just laugh. Ha ha! A child got molested, Sean! Ha ha ha! That'll literally say- be it. That'll literally be his reaction. He'll drop out some LSD. He'll send Ralph some Turkey Tom in the mail. And that'll be it. <laughs> like, that'll be it. These guys have no moral comfort. Don't delude yourself into thinking that they do have morals and they do have political beliefs that you could fund and stand by. Don't delude yourself in any way into thinking that they're leaders of the white race. Just because Ralph has Mark Collett on the show, you know, a confirmed fed, you know, a guy who's also a degenerate fuck, just because he has that guy in the show doesn't make him the leader of the white race or any advocate no. of the white race. Like, just, just don't believe their lies. Like... <laughs> Do we have anything more we want to say? Because I just linked there to fucking the Rand shit. But do we have any more you want to say on this shit, man? What else can you really say? I mean, the bottom line is, the last thing I'll say is, what Dax Herrera, Dick Masterson is doing by defending pedophilia, saying it's fine to jerk off to Lollicon, is he is enabling this behavior. He is sending out the signal that it's acceptable to act in this way. And because of these actions, actual children might be harmed. And I think that that is actually very serious. We like to fuck around on this show and joke and troll or whatever. But the reality of it is, is that children might actually get harmed because of this behavior. And in fact, I'm pretty sure they will. And, and it just You've can't got, be just a follow- Just a quick, quick corollary to that PPP. Think of the people in Dax's audience, right? These pedophiles that he's attracted because he's been defending their views. Think of the people that are already doing this now, that are already practicing pedophilia, that are probably going out there and doing kids. And they're pulling up a Dick Matheson video. They're probably pulling up that stream he's just done with Josh and going, oh, it's okay, because Daddy Dick, Diddler Dax, has just told me that it's all okay, and here are my reasons why. This is the real harm that these words do. Like, get a grip. If you're a fucking libertarian and you think that anything goes, 
well, okay, stand by that, but then don't fucking dictate that you can't say the N slur and F slur on your show. Like, these guys aren't in any way, any shape or form, libertarians or anything like that. They're purely about the grift, they're purely about shackles, they're purely about the money. The fact that all of his shows are put behind a paywall and you have to infiltrate them to get it, to even hear this shit, is symptomatic of what I'm talking about when I'm saying that this whole thing has been polluted, the well has been polluted by these Mexican Jews, these half all of these people that are just fucking crazy, they want to make a dime, they want to grift, and they want to fuck everything up. Shall we jump into the rant stuff, PPP? Yeah! Right, okay. So, talking about wells and mines being polluted, Rand's called us out. He's called us out. Pay, pay, pay! And go and send our feds back, go and send works for hope not hating. Pay, pay, pay is Antifa. The ammo box fell on my head and the nose has been ex exposed. The nose has been exposed there. Uh, uh. PPP, what are your thoughts on this petrol sniffing racist alcoholic who's been at work all day jerking off to his own thoughts on how we're all Jews and feds and you're all nice and ah, you're all after the money. It's George Soros again. What, what, the slow show mo slow mo shows itself. What do you think about this fucking deranged sped calling us out for being feds? I mean, it's barely even worth responding to, aside from the fact that it's really, really funny. It is he's, funny. It's, it's obvious that the guy is just, he's either totally fucked up by, by drinking to the point where he has, like, wet brain and he's, like, hallucinating this shit, or he's just, like, the worst liar in the world and he's just concocting anything to save his hero, his mensch, Ethan Ralph. And when he's saying, like, I'm Antifa, I mean, the very first video I posted on the internet is me at an Antifa rally protesting against them and getting death threats and them trying to kill me. I mean, these fuckers showed up to my house at night and would bang on the door for, for weeks after this event happened. And they would try and intimidate me. But now I, I'm an Antifa agent for some fucking... This is zero proof of this. Then you work for Hope Not Hate, presented with zero evidence... What makes me laugh about it is if we are supposed to take this seriously, these guys demand the highest burden of proof for any offense that Ethan Ralph claims. But yet when they say that we're federal agents or that you work for love, not hate or hope, not hate, and that I'm Antifa, he has zero evidence and he just says well, it like it's a fact. I mean, I'm just going to jump in and say to accept any of Rand's claims, you've got to pretend that we're in a world where Ethan Ralph and Rand stand for white advocacy and white ideas and are four criminals of our times, are really fucking leaders of the dissident right. Huh. They're not. They're grifters. They say yeah. nothing that tallies with anything I think or anything uh, I know. Like, this, these guys are filthy grifters. They're coming for the money, pay, pay, pay. I'm somewhat trepidatious. This guy... I know he was in the army for like an hour and he had an ammo box fall on his head and he's been fucked in the head since then. You know, I know that his fucking wife miscarried and he cries about his angel baby and that's why he drinks. But I'm just thinking, like, this guy actually has kids, doesn't he, PPP? He's got, like, kids that are growing up right now. Like, whilst Rand may not be physically abusive, I can only imagine watching Rand through the corner of the door, my father, you know, if you don't watching mind, him man, screaming I... to a camera. They're all feds! I mean, you, you know, know you know what Rand Goblin said. I wasn't screaming gonna screaming at his, you know, watching Rand scream at the, my fucking mother. There, shut the fucking door! I'm screaming about my lemons. Shut the fucking door! Just imagine watching that and your own father doing that. that I mean, that's an abusive childhood. These these kids are gonna grow up and go fuck. I'm either gonna get out at 18 or I'm not gonna go to this guy's funeral when the time comes. Sorry, Brian, I talked over you there. No, 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 no. You were you were good. I just wanted to say one thing about Rand is. Uh... You know, I have a kid, and I don't introduce my kid to anything on the internet or anything like that that's involved in any of this. And you're absolutely fucking right. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I mean, you are a person with a family, a young family there. You know, you're not doing... You've done some crazy shit, right? But you're not going on streams whilst the child is in the room there and screaming, Shut the door! Shut the door! Get out! Just, just Get drinking. Out, wife! I just, just getting inebriated like he does. Like he drinks as much as Ralph does.
and he gets that fucked up almost every stream. And it but makes I'm this... a, I, uh, I, I am a shit poster, and the ants are a communist. But you know, you have a, a general problem, like a like a mental problem. Even if the ammo box fell in your head, that you that he's clearly treating himself with alcohol. He's clearly doing these things that are that are not healthy. I mean, the feds are everywhere. It's like he's on meth 24-7 and there's shadows in the tree, you know? That kind of shit. Uh, it makes no fucking sense. His wife has uh -huh. to sneak in the room to yell at him and say, hey, can you can you get off the computer? You sound fucking crazy. And instead of him, like, rationalizing that, he gets violent with the wife because he's drunk. You know, like you said, you can only imagine how the kids are in the house, which you never hear him, and he stays in his room 24-7 doing these, uh, these weird fucking streams about the feds. Not <laughs> to get him. Uh, now, just now Brian, Brian, I, I hate, I hate to cut you off, Brian, but you know we did reach the lemon goal uh, last stream. Uh, have you posted your outlines yet? Oh no, I was, I was a liar. I'm a big old liar. I lied on that. I'm never gonna do that. I'm what not a piece of shit. I'm not Ralph. I, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> well, gonna... I was gonna finish my fucking rant take and talk over to all of you here. Like, what gets me about Rand is he points the finger. There, I, I have come to the uh, conclusion that, that they, are, they are Jewish feds. Like, this guy will openly say, without any sort of irony, Ethan Ralph, you are my mensch. I owe everything to you. Uh, and I'm not so much reputatious about saying that. You are you are my king. Let me let me lick you. Let he me lick your countries. He He'll say money. this, right? He'll openly say this. And yet... Ethan Ralph is best fucking friends with confirmed Fred, uh, like confirmed Fed Milo Yiannopoulos, confirmed DJ Milo Yiannopoulos. Like, get a grip, get a grip, man. Look inwards. Like, does he see Ralph as his paragon of virtue that can do no wrong? No, like, I think holy he, fuck. I think he does with, with uh, Gator, and he gave him a bunch of money or something. I think he bailed him out. There's no way Ralph is paying Rand. Like Rand's I don't think doing he's paying him free. consistently. Rand is so mentally ill and fucked by alcohol that he's doing this for free. I don't think and he, he paid thinks him that everyone's Jewish. He thinks that everyone's a fed. And uh, apparently, Ethan, Ralph, and Milo are based and red pilled. Get, just try and contort your head around that. You know? No, I, I just think that he paid, gave him like a lump sum of some time ago. Maybe he needed help with something, and that's why he sucks his dick so hard. But, uh, well, he did need help with something once upon a time, Brian, when he asked Ralph for his opinions on his wife miscarrying. And instead of offering any advice, Ralph decided to fire up OBS and record the crying. So that's <laughs> that's how helpful Ralph was. Yeah, I'll never understand it. I just think Rand is a fucking idiot and a piece of shit. I don't think you should get drunk around your kids the way he does or do live streams talking about the Jews and all types of shit around your kids. They don't understand. They don't need to hear it. Uh, it's just weird, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys finish. I just when you started mentioning Rand, I just don't like the guy, and I think he's a, a piece of yep. shit and he's a larper. He should have the King of Pole name, well, not me. That's what he should have, because he's an absolute larper. Yeah, I, I agree with all this shit, Brian. Like, w well done for jumping in there and giving some fucking gr great takes. Well done, Brian. Uh, PPP, just fucking round that out. I mean, what 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 more is there really to say? I mean, Rand is an alcoholic failure at life. He has admitted that he works for the federal government of Australia. And then he calls other people federal agents because he would know who's a Fed and who isn't because he works for the government. This is his whole argument. I mean, he's clearly abusive towards his children. I can't imagine they're going to be raised properly. He is clearly abusive towards his wife. He's drunk constantly. He lives in a parallel alternate universe where there's a Jew behind every blade of grass. The Jew is responsible for him stubbing his toe. The Jew is responsible for the food going bad in the fridge. It's just fucking insanity. And, and I just don't understand who takes this guy seriously. But 50 people, if that, like, come no, on. No, come on. Like, his whole chat is ants, you know, and him screaming about ants. Him getting so drunk to try and cope with the ants. Uh, uh, I want to stream on entropy because I can control the chat. The nose is being exposed. Fuck this guy. Get a grip. Check into a clinic. Your kids will thank you. If you continue this way, no one's going to go to your funeral, not even your own flesh and blood. You know, maybe fucking wander around in army barracks again for an hour like you did last time and look for an ammo box precariously placed that can fall upon your head and send you back to normal. Holy fuck, man. I know. I know. But he's the savior of the white race. Him and Dingo are going to save the white race. Even though they got embarrassed by fucking Beardson of all people the other day, 
just got blown out by fucking an irony, bro, and got humiliated, you know? And we're like, no, James Field didn't ruin his life. It was the Jews who ruined his life. You know, just crazy shit. Just crazy. Uh, I just want to round out the show then with the fucking Ralph segment, right? So just quickly, Ralph, we stream sniped Ralph that night. We got higher viewers than him. We got more lemons than him by like 10,000. We were on like 75,000, probably the most D-Live, a D-Live stream has ever, ever made. Like when we grift, we do grift and we do it successfully. We BTFO Ralph so much. Worski is donating thousands. He's bankrupting himself to lick the gunk crease and stay on Ralph's good side. And then Ralph puts out that tweet. Can you remember that tweet, PPP? What, where he says that he is a winner and how he has yeah. like 2,000 viewers and how Just lies. an overwhelming show of support. He never had 2,000 viewers. He lost to us both nights. Like, he lost to us every night that we went Just head to head. Just lies. Gaslighting the audience to such a degree where, I mean, you have to really fucking take the crazy pills. You really do have to, I, I don't know, in, inhabit this reality where Ralph's a winner to even believe half of the stuff he says. Like, do we not live in the world where Ralph is like a five foot one hobbit living with his mother? He drinks himself to sleep every night and his best friends are Gator and Fagmenko and Zidane who fucked off and never came back. Like his ex-wife is Nora of all people. He's slamming these fresh out of high school, shapeless blobs who don't even wipe their own asses. Like this man isn't a king. He's not a winner. Um, and it's only because Dax is setting himself on fire right now that Ralph has been pushed down all the way to the bottom of the agenda for today's show. Yeah. And I, I just think that I made a video where I said, look, Ralph basically lives in a place called Copeville. You know, it's this, it's this fantasy land that he's constructed for himself where guys, I, I'm a king. I'm a winner. I have thousands of people watch me every night. I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, and you guys are just A-log losers who have no audience and you couldn't fucking have a pot to put piss in. No one would ever give you all money. I'm a king. When in reality, you know, you live with your mother, you know, you're pill popping, shit huffing, by the way, you know, alcoholic piece of trailer trash. And, and, and you're just never actually winning. You know, the A-logs have more viewers. The A-logs can make more money. Look, if we asked for donations every night, we would make way more money than this guy. We just and this showed is it. it. But the thing is, we choose fucking not to. Like those lemons yeah. what we crowdfunded aren't going to be spent. And if we do manage to spend them, they'll probably go to charity. Like, get a grip, yeah. man. We are not in it to make money or do a grip. Like, I had these capos coming at me on Twitter, Ralph's capos, that Nick DiOrio, irrelevant nobody, comes at me. You know, calls me a liar and a fraud. And I say, like, who are you? Like, who, who even are you? And he says, oh, I'm more successful than you. And I'm like, what? Uh, okay, you know, lol. Like, this guy is you know. not successful. He doesn't work a job, <laughs> you know? Come he, on, he begs you know? in the gutter like an animal he for his paycheck, his for his food. Closet, like, get a grip. Like, he can't on. even, like, find an... O he can't even find a woman. You know, this this guy is a nobody, a complete nobody. But because he makes what? Let's let's say he clears about 200 quid every time he makes a stream or does a stream. That in their own mind, they think that makes them kings, even though they're living with their mothers. Like, fuck, get a grip, get a grip. If, I've, I've said this before many times, but any single job that you can find in the real world is 100% better than any job you can do on the internet or on YouTube. Like, working at McDonald's, I still think, like, you could probably get, like, a pension out of that if you put enough hours in. You know, you've got employee rights. You can't just be banned or blocked from YouTube on a moment's whim. You've got some sort of tribunal you can go to if you are uh, unfairly dismissed. Like, any job, even Matt doing Uber Eats, is fucking more stable and, and more respectable and, and seen by many people in society as being a bit more upstanding than being Worski, than being Ralph, than being Nick DeFaggot. Like, all of these people, they think they're kings, but they're not. They're absolutely not. And all it takes is for someone to prick their feelings. Like, I've been blocked by about five of them. You know, <laughs> Durio blocks me when I just say lol to him. When he, when he pulls the, I'm more successful than you, Carl. Like, these guys are a fucking joke. And they'll cry about censorship all the live long day about how comedy is dead and art is dead because they couldn't make money on YouTube. 
but they have no issue blocking you or shutting you down or whatever the fuck, right? They have no problem with that. <laughs> they want to be so bad, PPP, if they were talented. I look at like someone like Diorio, and he's only in the position he's in, and that Algi FC guy who streams from his mother's closet. Like, I look at these people, and they're only in the position they're in is because they were like groomed by higher level fucking clout. They clout chased and they licked the gun crease of people like Tommy C. Like, they're only in that position because they are such loyal capos. They're such fucking. Uh, duplicitous bastards that they're in that position. They have no talent. They can't no, carry a show on their own. Or that they they can't with. carry anyone. They share the audience of the higher person they've clout checked. <laughs> they can't carry anyone to go off with them on their own. They're just irrelevant. All of them. No, it's absolutely true. There's nothing you can even say. There's no but God would say. And the reality of it is these guys are losers. Like, Nobody could would watch them. They can't draw flies to shit. They're just total losers. No charisma. No personality. You could, could name here's the kicker, PPP. Like I, I get tweets from these guys. You know the Algi FC guy and the, and the Diorio person, and they say, "Oh, nobody even listens to what you have to say. Nobody even cares." Like, okay, all right, can keep continuing that reality where nobody is going at Ralph. Nobody is calling out. These people, these grifters, your lords and saviors for their degenerate actions and the things that they're saying. Yeah, keep living that reality where there isn't a massive sucking forum just waking up every day and realizing that their threads are inflating. Just keep realizing, you know, keep keep living in this Cokeville universe where nothing is happening, where Nick Diorio is a king. Our Augie RFC is going to give you lectures on how to be a Chad. Like, that's literally what he's doing. Like, keep living that reality, you know. That's absolutely fine. I'll keep buying Coach Coin and investing in the Chilean syndicate there. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Coach Coin's a better investment than putting your time into these fucking idiots. I'll tell well, you look that. Look at how right it's now. paid off for us, you know. Coach Coin's really paid out for us, man. Yeah. No, we're fucking wealthier than all those Link Marines with their fucking chain link coins. Can imagine, you know, imagine not having been in on Coach Coin and receiving these 10,000% gains that we've made on Coach Coin, you know, and, and, and because of our backing of Coach Coin, we've been, you've been given a job by GCHQ. I've been given a job by CSIS. We've successfully infiltrated the alt right and destroyed it from within. You know, we're kings. It's, it's worked it's, out well. And it's all down to the eternal Chilean Gonzalo Lira. So yeah. round of applause for Coach. God bless you, Coach. We love you, what Gonzalo. King. What bless a real you. king. King Coach. Absolute king. So have we got anything else we want to say? Anything oh. else we've missed, Brian, that we uh, that you want us to talk about? Or has Chad got anything you want us to say before we finish the show? Some guy in chat is really upset. He's been DMing me fucking constantly on discord for like three days now saying you and godwinson have a pedophile's dick in your mouth by associating with josh therefore everything you have to say is wrong so uh, you want to address that godwinson you have well, josh's okay dick in right. your mouth? so what whatever josh said on Blockland didn't that happen like 10 years ago happened a decade ago that like right? 13 years ago like 13 years ago right this is happening now Digibro is defending, and Dax, Diddler Dax, they're defending pedophilia now. And the reality is, I know you've got to come along with me, but the reality is that Josh, you know, pedo extraordinaire from Blockland 13 years ago, he is the one now that's actually calling out pedos and these degenerates. So you know what? I'm going to bat for Josh in yeah. this instance. Yeah. It's wasn't, not to say uh, I co-sign everything the man's ever said. Wasn't Josh like, like 15 come... or 16 when he, those Blockland... Uh, arguments linked, right? Wasn't he like so he 15? was 15 and 16, right? I think Dick so, Masterson right. is 42 years or 45 years old. He knows his own mind. I imagine Josh at 15. I certainly didn't know my mind at 15. I was doing some fucking crazy shit at 15. Um, I imagine that Dick Masterson has more of a grip on life than Josh did when he was 15. Dick Masterson is saying this today. Digibro is saying this today. Ralph is doing things today. It's like when Brand says, what? You hate money. The nose is exposed. Why don't you go after PewDiePie? Like, get a fucking grip, buddy. We're not going after PewDiePie. Like, you are a retarded. Oh, yeah. You know, just because we don't like someone making money 
Doesn't mean that we hate everyone in the world making money. Doesn't mean we're going after the fucking banks. Oh, quick. Let's mount a fucking rally on Barclays. Like, get a grip. And so why aren't you going after the OnlyFans? Oh, it's like, do you really think I can eradicate whoredom from the internet? No, I cannot. Do you know what I can eradicate? I can eradicate these fucking people. And the whole thing is like, we're supposed to have, if you're on the right, a higher set of moral standards. It's like, oh, let's criticize Bausch. His fans don't give a shit. Like, they're like, yeah, we love him because he's a degenerate and because he makes the money. So, like, it, it's just insane. It's, it's just two totally different things. And I'm just tired of having to listen to these fucking faggots <laughs> sit there and make these false equivalence teasers, say I'm a fed. Because I'm not yelling at Bausch or PewDiePie or a fucking whore on OnlyFans. Like, give me a fucking break. So what have we, what have we got now to field? Is there anything else that the autists, the League of Autists want to come at us with? Because we can just address it now and it'll stop, you know, interfering with the fucking crusade against Big Ladax. Like, I just want to <laughs> get any fucking qualms and criticisms dispelled or at least try and answer them before we continue. Is there anything, PPP, or is that, was that the one issue of that was potential? It, that was the it was the one issue where he just wouldn't let it go. And I, I just didn't even respond to him for three days because I said, this is just some random Spurg spamming me. But then he shows up in the D live chat. He's like demanding we address it, just spamming it. And like saying he's going to do a live stream about it. Well, you can do a live stream <laughs> about it. You make your case. But like, uh, you know, he's like I just don't out, give a man. shit. Like he's going to blow me out. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> The reality is, like, I don't like getting spammed 20 fucking messages a day. Like, if you're interacting with me on Twitter or Discord or wherever in DMs, you got to understand I have about 15 other autistic people sending me the exact same thing you are. So, it, you know, it's not really that helpful. And I, I'm, I'm, I just can't respond to every single crybaby, like, you're sucking Josh's penis. Well, that's just your opinion, man. You know, I, I called out all the block land shit three months ago. You know, Josh explained himself. I thought it was fine. I don't know why you and guys I moved don't on think you really from... need to explain yourself, though, PPP. You guys literally interviewed his arch nemesis on air. This is it, right? It so none you of don't these need detractors, for all of the years that Vordrak's been active, none of these detractors decided to go and listen to what Vordrak had to say. Do you know what I mean? And yet we're being fucking pilloried and ripped over the coals because... We're calling generous Josh, generous Josh. Like, come on. I wouldn't even answer What's it. What's happening like... is happening now. Dick Masterson is defending pedophiles in real time. He's saying things that are far eclipsing anything that Josh has ever said, from my knowledge, what he said on Blockland, is dwarfed by what Dick Masterson has said tonight. Calling himself the Jesus of pedophiles, saying that uh, child pornography is sophisticated. What about the poor, downtrodden, innocent pedophiles? Like, come on. Get out of the no, delusional reality yeah, where Dick Masterson is a king goes, and get a quick. No, look at him go. He goes, you think it's fine that your friends with a pedophile were saying Dick and Digi need to be shot? Like, well, that's, is, uh, I actually, I'm okay with him. He's cool, but uh, his, that's that's John Kelly. He's the guy who had issues with Nick Rakita and Spectre and all that stuff. So uh, an irrelevant nobody, right, who's been trying to make that's... a name for himself since Gamergate? It's like, get a grip. Yeah, he right? was, he I, was I, the co- Actually, you guys might might want to talk to him about the ralph stuff he used to be ralph's co-host if you ever want to talk to the guy i know he's kind of like yeah but now he's right not now. now he's been cast into the sands of time along with fag menko and, and the other co-hosts and wild goose like these are irrelevant they were only relevant because they were attached fair to enough. ralph and now they're gone now yeah, they can enough. stay irrelevant goodbye yeah I, fair enough i mean i don't know what his deal is with you guys why he's bringing it up but i would say john kelly they literally interviewed Bordrak in depth that because He's upset because he sent me 50 DMs and I didn't respond because it's a waste of my time. And there are other things that I'm dealing with in my own life and on the internet that are more pressing than him giving me info that I've already heard a million times and trying to say that I suck the guy's dick or some shit like this. Like, I'm just not going to waste my time. So he's bum hurt that I didn't give him the time of day because he needs my attention and my validation for some reason for his viewpoint. And uh, now he's going to cry in my chat and say that uh, I worship pedophiles when this whole show was about calling them out today. Yeah, I don't so think... So uh, he can do whatever he wants. I don't know why he's doing that, but uh, I, I, I I, don't know. I worked it out with JMK not too long ago, but he, uh, I don't know why he's doing that. That's kind of weird. Shall we wrap up then? I've got Witcher 3. <laughs>
It was um, telling me to put it in the fucking machine. I've not even pulled it up yet. Apparently, it's supposed to run fairly okay on the Switch Lite there. You know, I, I'm somewhat trepidatious about that, but apparently, it's a really good port, so I, I, I want to see what that looks like. Um, do we have anything before? else we want to say on the show? Oh, Sorry, Brian. Oh, I... I said, have you played it before? No, have you beaten the game? Yeah, I, so I played it, what, 2015 when it first came out from a PS4, and then I played about 30 hours into it and stuff like that, and I just left because it was just so overwhelming to me. But, I yeah, mean, it's, it's out on the Switch. Like, it's a solid game. It blows game. my mind that that little machine can play that game. I don't know how well yet, but... I'm, a, uh, I'm about to play yeah, a game I'm, called, I'm looking uh, forward to spending, like, 150 hours of my life into that. Yeah, I'm about to play a game called Greedfall, and I, I'm kind of curious how that's going to be. It kind of reminds me of Bloodborne. Well, I saw you fucking uh, message me about, what, fail, Fall Guys? Oh, yeah, me and uh, yeah. me and Blackface Kermit have been playing Fall Guys with a couple people. And, uh, is that the one where you have to like chase the tail? You have to take someone's tail off or something? No, it's. Uh, I saw Jim Sterling doing that. Mario play, Party, it was like you know, you ever played Mario Party? You know where after everybody rolls yeah. the dice on the board, you have a little mini game you all have to do. Like, right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It's yeah. just uh, it's a battle royale where you have to get from point A to point B, and each round is an elimination, and you all play mini games. So it's a mini game for like sixty people, and at the end, there's only one person standing, and it's it's pretty fun. Well, there we go. There's the fucking shill for Fall Guys there. Download it on Steam today. PPP, P P is there anything we wanna we wanna say before we finish the show? No, I, I just uh, I think it went fairly well and I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Um contrary to Desarium's opinion that we spent thirty minutes talking about him, we spent about ten minutes talking about him, and that's all he'll ever get. Uh you won't be allowed on the show. <laughs> So what he wants on the show, like wants the, the, he wants the us, IBS, like, wants the IBS, take you a guys. long hard look in the mirror, John Michael Kelly, or whatever the fuck you're called. If you're trying to clout chase us, you know what I mean. We're fucking crazy. We're unhinged. We don't give a fuck, and we're not in it for money, like you and your fucking weird grift that you've been trying to do since Gamergate. Like, don't clout chase us because it will bite you in the ass. I assume you'll be burnt by fire. You know, no, just said, just go your own said, way. Yeah, Try and, you know, look for life. Queen Anita and all of the conspiracies with Zoe Quinn and, you know, leave us be. No. Fuck. No, I, Godwin said he has a right of reply. And he has a right of reply. <laughs> you know, it's literally like I'm talking to someone straight out of 2014. Get a grip of your reality and he, sanity. He wants man. the like, IBS, the you guys, fuck? on pedophile, on this pedophile talk right now. Like, he really wants the IBS, you guys. Well, I'm going. I've got Richard III. Uh, I'm not going to talk to a relevant okay. John Michael Kelly, who used to be Gunt Guard, who used to be Ralph's co-host. Then he decided to snake on Ralph, and then he fell away into the sands of irrelevancy, and then he's been dwelling there for fucking years. And uh, now he wants to come on, like, go go away. You know, bring someone who can actually fucking do something, you know, and, and not drop the ball every time they're past it, Leo Pirate style. Like, get a grip. No, we're no different than Ethan Ralph. That's right. We're no different. Okay. Right All right. Yeah, we go. Right. There I'll we go. So well, let's just agree. We're, we're no different than Ethan Ralph. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, yeah, perfect. All right, guys. Great show. All right. Take care. Yeah. Take care. Take I'm gonna, care. I'm going to play some care. outro music. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, can we play 99 Love Balloons, Brian, for Kraut? Uh, I can. I just got to find it. Uh, I was gonna play the IBS rap battle Dick vs. BPP, but that works. Uh, well, Kraut really wants 99 Luft Balloons. No, he sings really along want, in no. the original German. Oh, fuck. Oh, Alright, I guess I'll play that. Uh, Kraut's got his parrot out and his shirt. shirt.
Go again. This is Dr. Phil showing his. You're coping for the fact that you've been exposed and embarrassed, and everybody in chat knows that I'm right and you're hey, wrong. Motherfucker. Is, Shut is, up. is yelling cool oh, now? Is yelling cool their deals? This is righteous. This is punishment from God. Righteous. Right now. Righteous. 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 Right now. You loose ass left content sucking motherfucker! I want to point out, it's very clear that everybody is raising their voice. What have you ever done in your life? I live in a Barbie's dream mansion. Well, you know what? Let's talk about what really matters. Let's talk about- Because I go out of here, I fuck my girlfriend in a fucking mansion. Meanwhile, you and whoever you have in the background, you're fucking hype man. Stick your thumbs up each other's asses and jerk each other off, telling you what a great job you did. You fucking- There are more important hard. things than money and women. Beyond the mentality of a 16-year-old boy. I'm extremely intelligent. I know, I have a higher verbal IQ than you, it's sad. This is righteous. This is punishment from God. Righteous. Right now. Righteous. Righteous. Right now. This is righteous. This is punishment from God. Righteous. Right now. Righteous. 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 This is righteous. This is punishment from God. Righteous. Right now. Righteous.